du inte vill bli gravid så finns det en massa olika sorters skydd att välja mellan. Och det kan vara svårt att hitta rätt. Många preventivmedel bygger på hormoner. Men vill vi verkligen ha det så? Hormonal contraceptives like the pill um, have been a, a revolution you know, for our societies. It's brought a lot of freedom as well uh, to women. But there's also about half of women that say that they don't want hormones and that's because they feel several side effects. Men nu har forskare utvecklat en ny typ av hormonfritt preventivmedel gjort av slem. Man, that's on you, yeah. You've been terrorizing me. Yeah, I'm always wrong. Det är sekt. Det skyddar dig mot livsfarliga bakterieangrepp. Och du producerar två liter av det per dygn. Oh my goodness, slem um, does so much for you. Um, without it, you would, you would probably die very quickly. My name is Thomas Cousier, uh, and I'm a mucus engineer. I think we don't recognize how useful the mucus is to us. And there is so many things also we can do with the mucus. Right now, we are developing a new type of contraceptive that is completely hormone-free. Under de dagar som kvinnor inte har ägglossning så är limoderhalsen naturligt sluten med ett sekt slem som stoppar spermier från att ta sig in. Vid ägglossning då blir slemmet tunnare, vilket gör att spermierna kan ta sig förbi limoden och vidare till äggledarna där ägget kan befruktas. Och det är här som KTH-forskarnas nya uppfinning kommer in i bilden. De jobbar med att ta fram en gelkapsel som förs in vaginalt och som påverkar slemhinnan i limoderhalsen att tillverka ett tjockare slem. Lik det som finns i kroppen naturligt när vi inte har ägglossning. Inside this shell you have biopolymers. A biopolymer is a polymer that comes from nature. And a polymer is a large molecule that is composed of smaller molecules linked together in a long chain. This particular biopolymer we can find in mushrooms, uh, but also in the shell of crabs or shrimps. And these biopolymers interact with mucus that is already there in our body um, and simply reinforces uh, its barrier properties. It prevents the sperm from going up the reproductive tract to the egg um, and prevents us from getting pregnant. This is the gel that women would insert. Inside the gel, you find a biopolymer that interacts with the mucus and forms a barrier to sperm. Men innan vi kastar p-pillerkartan kan det vara bra att veta hur pass pålitligt slem egentligen är. We're really aiming for a high efficacy. Um, if we want to change contraception, it has to be as uh, efficacious as the pill. Finns det då inga risker med gelkapslarna? I think the only safety, you know, um, worries for these for these sort of things would be slight kind of irritation because you are putting uh, a gel inside uh, the vagina, right? Uh, but we can be smart about how to design these gels so that they're basically compatible with these tissues um, and don't lead to such irritation or burning sensations. And you should be able to forget about the contraceptive and just you know, have fun. Det här med ett hormonfritt preventivmedel låter ju bra. Men det finns en uppenbar fråga. Varför inte uppfinna ett slembaserat preventivmedel för män istället? So unfortunately when it comes to mucus engineering it is not possible to apply it to men because there is no mucus down there. There is a huge need for a male contraceptive. Um, and I think uh, men are changing as well. And now studies are showing that a uh, majority of men are willing to share the burden of contraception. I think like in um, a few decades from now, we would look back at hormonal contraceptive and wonder you know, why we ever used that. And with our approach, we're really hopeful that we can create something truly uh, revolutionary. Yeah.